Why should you get into construction? Well, it's no better time. We have a shortage, 75% of construction companies or labor shortage on 75% of the businesses out there. Second is what's gonna happen with all the other ones die? There's not gonna be nobody to fix your crap or to fix your lights or to fix your stack or your driveway. The fourth one is competition is not there for the new hires. So let's dig into a little bit into each one of them. The first one, why is it a great time? As I have said before, it's a lot of more people getting out of the construction business than it is getting in. In part of it for laziness, in part of it because the new generations don't believe in hard labor, whatever you want to name it, the shortage is there. It's not going to be a space for everybody to be on the internet or to be lawyers. It's only so many lawyers that are needed, so many doctors that are needed. You're going to have to find out something to do. Construction is a great area to begin. The reason why, because it has too many areas to grow and you literally never have a ceiling. If you start as an employee, you learn everything you need to know, you become a journeyman on something, you become a master of something, then now you can have your own company. And the limits are endless. You can choose where to stop that. You could grow your company as I did at one point up to $60 million, or you can stop it at seven or 10 or whatever it is comfortable for you. But the ceiling is you, is your own mind, is your own work ethic, is your own set of skills that would allow you to take it to wherever you need to take it. Construction can get you into investment. Construction can get you into the lifestyle that you want without having to spend all that time there. But that takes time. The sooner you enter, the faster you can get there. The other area of construction of why it's so important to start on it now is wages. You don't start most of the time with minimum wages when it comes down into the construction. You start a little higher than that because of the shortage we're having. Now, for some companies, workers are temporary. They finish a big project and then you get to the next one. But something you got against everybody else is a set of skill that you have now to work for somebody else or to work on your own. It's great to be in construction because, let's be honest, chicks dig it. You know, you get to be on the big trucks, rough hands, do all of these things. And as a lot of people complain about the political bullshit on the uh, economy, the prices are getting higher and all of this, guess what? You get to charge more. So you don't get to feel it that much. Construction is a great environment to meet people as well. You get to meet clients, you get to meet coworkers, you get to meet employees, you get to meet the secretaries you might hire, the salespeople you might need, and then you start getting into the investment side of things. When you start making a certain amount of money in construction or more money than you can actually count with, you get deal with IRS. Construction will allow you to buy your own properties, fix your own properties, and get the deductions that the IRS allows you to get because of it. Construction is not one of those things that stay there until you die. You can actually get out and do what you want due to the fact that you planned your business correctly and you didn't stay as a W-2, but don't get me wrong. We still need all of you guys who do not believe in having a business because it's too much work. We need a little bit of everything in the industry. I don't care which section of it you decide to go to, you are needed. You are wanted right now. And believe it or not, it's not a lot of competition for you new guys. I remember when I started construction, it was 150 people asking for the same job I was asking at the same office I was asking at. Right now, you're lucky if you find 10 guys there. The chances of getting hired are higher than ever. The chances of you learning are higher than ever because all the old folks, we're trying to pass down what we know. So we're, we don't have to keep doing it until we're 90. Now, Let's be realistic. In construction, you're not going to be able to answer your girlfriend's text message every 10 minutes, and you might not be able to be in social media for eight hours. If you're willing to do that, then it's a spot for you in the construction world. Why do I call it the construction world? Because it's exactly what it sounds like. We live in our own world. Only people in construction understand what happens in construction. How many times we've been fucked by the clients. Most people talk about how much the client gets screwed by a contractor but they don't give the full story why the contractor walked away. In some cases, don't get me wrong, it's bad ones out there. It's bad ones on every industry, but it's never that conversation. You're never gonna understand it if you're not inside of construction. But you being just starting, you don't get to deal with none of the bullshit. You actually get to learn in peace. You're gonna work with some funny characters, some drunken characters, some hilarious characters, and some lazy characters. You get to deal with people in a regular basis that might develop some other skills that you didn't know you have. You need to remember that construction is a skill that can grow. Work ethic is a skill that you have to work on every day. And some of you guys might not have the work ethic, but you might have the skill. You're gonna need to master those too. 
Now, getting into construction, you're gonna have cold days, you're gonna have hot days, you're gonna have days and you work when you're sick, you're gonna have days and you work with a guy you don't like to work with. Too bad for you. It's just the way it is. It's nothing you can do about it. Open a business, don't hire those assholes, then you'll be fine. But for the most part, you're just gonna have to put up with it. It's part of building your character in the trade world. Being his own world allows you to say, you know what? I can talk this way to this person because in the environment that we move ourselves, we can do so. As you're learning, people might not talk very nice to you, but that creates a tough personality in you. You're going to have to put up with the things that most people quit in the first day. A lot of people that start in construction don't last more than six months because it's too hard. Pick the proper trade, pick an area that is going to work for you and get to it, get to work. If any of this advice has helped you, please leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the field.